Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Well, this is definitely a sad day for anybody out there who makes fan projects involving Nintendo IP because during Nintendo's 84th annual general meeting for shareholders, Nintendo has promised to take down any inappropriate fan-made project involving Nintendo IP. Now, this information comes directly from the head honcho himself, Nintendo's global president, Shuntaro Furukawa. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get into what he had to say here. Now, he was first as, Nintendo owns a lot of compelling IP, such as Mario, The Legend of Zelda, but there are cases where other companies are offering products and services that appear to infringe on those IP rights. I am concerned about the possible erosion of the value of Nintendo's IP. What are your thoughts on how to respond to acts that infringe on Nintendo's intellectual property rights? And Mr. Furukawa responds with this. Our mission is to bring smiles to people throughout entertainment, and we aim to provide games that anyone can intuitively enjoy. Many people have developed an affection for our characters and IP through their experience of playing our games. For this reason, we believe it is extremely important for us to continue to create new ways to play so people deepen their attachments to our characters and IP. Our basic policy for protecting our intellectual property is to take appropriate action against any infringement of our IP rights. This will not change in the future. All right, so it's very clear that Nintendo will continue to enforce their IP policies against people who infringe them. And we can see clearly throughout all this week because I've been making videos on the topics that they're taking this very seriously. Now, I've been checking out a few websites, whether it's NintendoLife.com, MyNintendoNews.com, or Eurogamer.net, where Nintendo doesn't really care about fan-made projects where it comes to like fan art or like fan animations, as long as it's not done inappropriately. And you know, there are some cases where people make fan art and fan animations where it's basically porn. And I don't think Nintendo wants to see that, especially when they have children that really appeal to their characters. You know, they don't want to see that on the website and I'm pretty sure that they'll take those down. But when other cases like that whole Bowsette situation, they did nothing about that. You know, the person who made Bowsette and created it, they did nothing about the Bowsette situation. As a matter of fact, when they were asked about that in person, they had nothing to say about it. So I don't think they care about fan art specifically, as long as people don't do this inappropriately. But as far as a lot of these fan made games that use their character IPs inappropriately and these illegal mod hacked games, you know, they had that whole mix switch situation earlier this week. I think that moving forward, Nintendo will continue to take some legal action against these cases where people will do jail time or pay a significant fine. So yeah, man, you gotta be very careful out here because at the end of the day, this is Nintendo's IP. Now, in some cases, I don't believe that Nintendo should take action like a lot of these people who make fan art because it's just fan art. You know, if it's just innocent fan art, then hey, don't don't bother these people, Nintendo. But when there's cases when people are selling or, you know, promoting illegally modded consoles made by Nintendo or illegally modded hacked games. Yeah, I think Nintendo's going to take serious legal action against those cases. And we've seen that in the past as well. So we really shouldn't be surprised. So with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And what do you all think about this? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, for the tons of people that are watching this video right now that are not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on daily Nintendo news content. And as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock, where here we focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next video.